Hello and welcome back to StarCraft and today we are going to be playing as the Protoss hero Artanis and I think, uh, let's see, it looks like I'm the first wave spawn here so I'm going to go ahead and put a Zealot down just to contest the middle to give us something to work with. Now Artanis does get three Photon Cannons that we can start with so we'll, we'll put that there and uh, Artanis is kind of a, kind of a, should we say a defensive style hero. Uh, he's his active abilities are the Guardian Shell, which permanently empowers a unit. Upon death, it will become temporarily invulnerable and recover 50 life and shield. So it's it's a way of making a super unit. Um, now, obviously, my Zealot is going to lose to this Dehaka unit, but that's fine. Now I know that I am against Dehaka. His other ability is Shield Overcharge, where from the units gain a 100 shields for 20 seconds. Now that also applies to my allies, so let's say I have a friendly Zerg who... I, actually, do I have a Zerg? No, Tychus? Tychus? I got a couple Tychus players, so it's not going to do them so well, but let's say we had uh, the Zerg player that's there, let's say the Stukov, all of his units that already have 20 health would just be given 120 because that's how the shield works. So it's, it's really powerful to work with some some allies. So I think the tactic here for our tent, he's kind of really balanced. He's got this really big ships like Tempest spam is a pretty big strategy, uh, but I think I just want to go for a nice, strong ground force to start it out with. I'm going to need a serious amount of splash damage, and something that will work out well for that is these Zealots. Just a bunch of these. There we go. Let's go ahead and get our next gas as well, and give them charge. Now, once we get to tier 2, we unlock the Whirlwind ability for the Zealots, which makes them deal an AoE attack. It's actually a really nice animation. I'll, I'll look forward to seeing... Letting you guys see that. Now, if I recall correctly, Tychus doesn't get any de any defensive structures, which is um, real unfortunate because uh, we're going to be a little bit weak in terms of defenses. We'll be able to be rushed down a bit easier, which is no fun. But, well, I guess when you have a Tychus ability that can just kind of literally wipe an entire wave in one shot, it's, it's not too big of a deal. But it's something to keep an eye on, as they have lots of structures that, that, that can face tank for their resource bunker. Whereas we do not. I only have three three tiny photon cannons. Photon cannon is not the most uh, HP buffer out of all the list of available options. But I think with us reaching Zealot's mass here, we're about to reach critical mass of these Zealots. Just walk across, and once this completes, they'll unlock the whirlwind. Yes, there they are. Go! Do things! Actually, there's no reason for them to activate the whirlwind here, so they won't automatically. Because, uh, there's, there's nothing, they don't have multiple targets to hit. So I think now I just need to start getting some bigger and better units, and that option for us is probably just gonna be the Dragoons right now. Now, Dragoons, a lot of you guys may recognize from, well, StarCraft 1, the original. If you, uh, any of you guys played Brood War, they are practically stalkers, only, uh, I have memories of them being dumb. And I, I mean that very literally. I mean, like, they're not, they're notoriously unintelligent. As in, you could tell them to walk in a straight line and they would actually fail to do so on a normal basis. It's really quite, really quite unfortunate. Uh, created some interesting scenarios, but I think, I think these will be smart enough to actually make it to the front line. Now, with the abilities here, they gain plus 20 life and double shield recharge rate. Also allows them to recharge shields in combat and plus 2 weapon range. Um, I'll go ahead and get it anyways. And then save up for our next gas. Now, this is concerning. Uh, Rabasaurs, basically Hydralisks that can only attack at ground units, uh, which means he's just going to kind of flatten me here. I need to be able to get across. Alright, so I'm going to lose to this wave. I need to figure out a way of solving that problem. Uh, let's see, do we have, we have options to solve that problem? Probably gonna be... Uh, if we had Tech 3, I could go for Tempest, and that would solve our problem immediately. Because unlike unlike Hydralis, the Rabasaurs do not shoot up. But uh, we may have to go with additional Zealots. Maybe just like completely spam them down. But these Zealots are really good versus a bunch of small units. Better versus st just single units would be the Immortals. Hmm. I'm curious this is, as to what what kind of goods we can do. Alright, let's go ahead and try Immortals. Immortals a bit more tanky than Dragoons, but they, they fill a similar role. Where Dragoons deal 30 damage every 1.26, Immortals deal 50 every 1, which is a bit more, but they're also more tanky. The difference is that these guys shoot from a longer range and can aim up, which is good. 
So they can kind of really be spammed and just overwhelm things quickly. But I definitely need an option that can take care of their back line. And I think the best way to do that is to just punch through their front line, specifically Dahaka. So I'm going to go ahead and use these Guardian Shell on these two guys. So now, whenever they are destroyed effectively, they will respawn with more things and better things. And that's that's really good, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and get the Improved Barrier for them as well. So the next time they come out, they have that. Now, the Improved Barrier absorbs twice as much damage. Uh, their, their current barrier uh, absorbs up to 400 damage and lasts for 7 seconds. So, uh, the idea here is that we're just going to walk down, just kind of punch them in the face with big Protoss Fist. And then let our Immortals tank for things while our Dragoons and also the Immortals deal more damage. And that should see us taking down their Dehaka, and then just kind of walking over their back line. Um, let's see, is this going to work? It looks like we actually did take down their Dehaka, so now we still have to worry about all of these things. Oh, oh no, that's bad. Uh, so their Dehaka used his, um, his worms to get into my back line and distract all the things, but it looks like we it still wasn't quite enough, and we're still able to at least stalemate his wave. It looks like he's only got two things left. Yeah, so we, we did good work. The Immortals did what we needed them to do. Let's go ahead and get another one. Give you also the ability, and then upgrade our weapons and armor. That should get us some good benefits, and, and hopefully just kind of walk over him. Now, hopefully our Tychus duo here is able to... able to to carry us forward, because as much as I can stalemate the wave, I'm I'm really concerned about our Tychus team here. It looks like they're actually doing really well, so I'm I'm all right with this. As I haven't played Tychus yet, I um, don't know really how to use him. I've not seen him used very effectively, which is concerning. It's always it's always very concerning. Go ahead and get another upgrade level here. So we're now two two. I uh, haven't upgraded the shields because most of my units aren't very shield heavy. They're very much more armor heavy. See, look, he died. Instead of dying, he just resurrected back to life. So now, unfortunately, we were within can photon cannon wrench, but we still managed to clear out pretty much the entirety of the Dahaka wave. So this is this is doing really well so far. And next up, I think we need to get up to tier three. Yes, yeah, like you can see here, the immortals have half the amount of shields that they have armor. So it's not shields are not the correct option here. But once we get up to tech level 3, I can get some of these bigger and better things. Let's see, we can get a Templar, Observer, uh, Reavers are going to be our next our next option. If you guys remember Brood War, Reavers are pretty exciting. Um, well, maybe not exciting. Exciting is not the right word. They're, they're very intriguing. They're like giant Protoss worms that just fire artillery shells kind of idea. Uh, except they're Protoss artillery shells, so they home in on the targets and cause horrible, horrible things in terms of damage. It's really quite exciting to watch, at least if they're facing off against something like Zerglings, because it's just they just all simply cease to exist real quickly. But we are starting to get pushed back here. I should use my active ability more often, because I'm the only one who can really benefit for it. It's my Tychus allies not really going to benefit from having an additional 100 shields when they already have 700 HP. This guy's got 1100 HP, so forth, so on. I don't really care too much about losing these photon cannons because they'll just regenerate. Let's see, do I have... Alright, I do. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and get our first Reaver down. I think I got him down in time. I did! Look at it! Look at it just kind of worm its way across, across the world. Uh, I do want to get these upgrades on it immediately. Let's go ahead and activate my commander ability. That'll give my dude some extra extra armor for the time being, which is good. They'll be able to survive a little bit longer, which will deal the damage they need. So you see here it's shooting this kind of weaving thing that goes out and just hits, just explodes. And it causes actually a significant amount of splash damage. Unfortunately, it has to rebuild its shots, just like the carrier interceptors. And that takes a long time. So after it gets through its first little initial buffer of them, then it doesn't really have any more, which is, it, it's got to rebuild them. That's not, not great. But it looks like we're starting to get kind of pushed back here. I'm still pretty much clearing out the Dahaka wave, but I think aircraft and its Tempest may be the next next answer to our problem. Because he doesn't have a whole lot of anti-air, so I should just be able to kind of sit back here and deal damage. I do want to get this, because disintegration allows it gives it a, a damage over time ability. That's really powerful versus single targets. It does 500 damage over 10 seconds, which is great versus a unit like Dahaka that just kind of chills out in the front. 
I do need a bit more of a front line, it looks like. So that'll that'll be my one of my next next goals here. So oh dear. Oh that's a lot. He's got the impalers too. Hmm. I think immortals may Ooh. Okay, let's get some let's get some more immortals. Where's my where are my immortals? You go here. Oh dear. I don't have the commander ability available to me right now. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I don't use it so much. It takes so long to recharge that the entire game will pretty much go by after you use it once. At least that's what it feels like. And we're just going to lose this here to the, uh, I think the, I'm not sure what color. Oh, he's got the Apocalypse. Oh, uh, that's, that's big. That's a big boy. That's not great. Let's go ahead and do this. Put the ability on you. Would it be worth getting some high Archons for me? I'm not sure. Yeah, abilities not just about halfway done coming off of cooldown. I should get an observer. Let's go ahead and put them back there just to deal with uh, some of these cloaked banshees in case we end up getting a stacked wave like this. Yeah, the, you, see, you see the mortals are just kind of punching through, so that's nice. Uh, this guy's disintegration is on cooldown, so that's that's not nice. I kind of need Tychus to clear out the entire Dahaka wave by himself, which uh, theoretically he should be able to do. Um. It's not, it's not gonna happen, which is not good. Uh, let me get a high arc on next. Get some psionic storm in there. Try to deal some splash damage. Not the greatest versus ravisaurs, but I mean it's better than not having splash damage. Uh, the reaver is not a great option for splash damage. Let's see. We haven't really lost much in the way of HP in a planetary fortress, so we're not out of this just yet. Oh, I need to put a the respawn thingy majig on you. I uh, need to give you plus energy and also psionic storm. Although he he does have feedback, so he should he should go wilder than some of these queens. Come on, clear him out, clear him out. Do it, do it. Yes. Oh no. Please clear out those lurkers. Thank you. Looks like they sniped my observer at some point, so I'm not gonna be able. I, my line just got destroyed here. We gotta take out Dahaka, but. Ah, uh, that's going to leave a lot of damage on the field. Oh, oh, but Tychus, we tanked for him just enough. It looks like Tychus is almost going to clear out the Dahaka wave. Almost. Not quite, but almost. That's, that's all right. Uh, they're going to have to do some serious holding here, though. This one's going to be rough. My commander ability is not yet off of cooldown. Am I going to get it? Am I going to get it? Come on, gimme, gimme. Yes. Ooh, I don't have a respawn. Uh, guardian shell for him. Well, that's unfortunate. Now I'm putting these in the back just to give them an opportunity to use all their abilities, but they'll worm their way to the front after the zealots have passed away and then start dealing some more damage. There we go. Wipe out all the energy off of those queens. Thank you kindly. There we go. Now you can come in, punch some more things. Very good. And we still have our observer up so that they'll be able to clear out the lurkers. Lurkers still dealing a lot of. Oh, that's not good. Uh, Dahaka just ate my dude. His ability cooldowns are reduced, and he has Thorin's aura, which is um, it's not not ideal. I don't don't want that. Don't want it at all. I'm gonna get another one of these guys go though, as the uh, feedback's really coming in pretty clutch here. All right, so now my commander ability is off cooldown. I can go ahead and use it for my next wave in 18 seconds, if we live that long, which I'm not convinced. The Apocalypse is getting burned down by our planetary fortress. Go ahead and toss this on you while I can. There we go. That should help out. Alright, let's do this. We still have Tychus alive. Uh, one of these days I'm getting an opportunity to move those back. This is not that day. Let's go ahead and activate our commander ability. Shield overcharge, give everything some extra tankiness, including my Tychus friend, who's only just recently passed. Now we still have a bit of our front line available to us coming into this next next battle. Which is good. It means that we can actually get some damage done here. Uh, no promises. Go ahead and act, upgrade our armors and such while we wait. It looks like our Reaver has expended all of his munitions and is rebuilding them now. Oh dear. Oh, with a healing wave coming in from Tychus. Actually going to help us push out of here. We are starting to push. Uh, don't think we're going to push very far with Stukov coming in and cleaning us all out. But, you know, we could, you could try for it. Look at the mortal still alive so for so long. That's ridiculous. Okay, let us... Uh, Dragoons are cheap. 
they're like half the are, are they like actually half 125 to yeah they're almost exactly half the um a half the cost of the immortal so if i get a bunch of those in the back that can really help our dps because we are living for quite some time ah, i didn't get it in time i had a few moments just like a moment and a half of uh, ability to maneuver and reposition those cannons if i can reposition them back toward our planetary fortress i can have them tank for the planetary fortress where our planetary does damage which is good good for us Let's see this reaver how well is the reaver doing I'll, I'll check on that. Oh, he just got eaten. Um, yep. Giant worm got eaten by giant Godzilla monster. Not not surprised at all, really. It's it's bound to happen. Let's go ahead and add another Dragoon back here. And did I get another charge? I did get another charge of Guardian Shells. Put this up. So let's see. How is How are you doing? Tempest's gotten 19 kills. Uh, Reaver's gotten 12, so they're going well. The Immortals are in similar similar positions. The Honor Guards, they're just there to die. Which is... And they're, they're doing that well. Uh, mostly because they're not alive at all ever let's go ahead and get a couple more dragoons put one over here put one over here got it in before the spawn wave yes nice oh dear it's so close those lurkers are still tapping our planetary fortress uh we don't have commander ability available uh if we can keep things off the planetary fortress it's down to 63 hp i don't think we're coming back from this one i really don't uh just the amount of splash damage that they're gonna have it, i mean we're recharging uh my wave cleared out their wave but that's Oh, jeez, the hawk is coming in. The hawk is, yeah, yep, GG. They got something. It's probably a lurker. And we're off to round two. And last match was actually pretty exciting. And let's see if we can't make this one a better one. Go ahead and put these guys up front to face tank for our cannon. And uh, let's just get down one zealot. Oh dear, nope. I've uh, get down. Yes. Okay. Just. Now I can do the upgrade. I don't want to upgrade first. It's meant to put down the Zealot first. That way I can at least see what's in the middle and try to contest it. If you guys remember, the owner of the middle, or at least whoever has units on the opposite side, uh, gains an additional one metal per second income. Now, for reference, each one of these gas upgrades, simulators we get, uh, adds half a mineral, half a mineral per second. So it's it's literally as good. Just just doing this what I did here is literally as as good as getting as two two gases which that's really good for the team so we, we want to be doing that and it's it's worth me delaying my tier 2 upgrade for a little bit just to uh, get that advantage as you can see oh well my teammates didn't spawn anything it looks like they have a dahaka who spawned a bunch of things i was going to try to blow up some of our some of our base it's not going to get very far uh blew up one of our photon cannons might get a second one or just a little bit of damage across the two of them yeah no real significant damage done and these will just regenerate and respawn by the time the next next wave comes around so now i don't know what my opponent is going for so i'm quite content to just not go for anything and try to counter whatever he counters because i have a zealot down i'm going to get advantage and i can just get another gas and wait i do not expect to be able to destroy their bunker it is an option to say hey if they're not going to build anything we can just walk over and blow up their bunker but Oh, you know, actually, they didn't defend their bunker. Um, I can just kind of walk over and blow up their bunker. That's not a bad idea, like, at all. Usually, they, you know, defend their bunker, makes it really difficult to get to it, but that's not what's happening here at all. So I can just kind of walk over it and blow it up, or at least deal significant damage to it and start stacking some damage on it. Let's go ahead and get the Immortal down, put you right here you right there and i'll shift things around give you guys that i want to move you and put you right next to there because then you're nice and centered because i like things symmetrical yeah look at this i blew through three photon cannons and did no damage to our base so i it's it's quite fine uh my yellow player oh he just put the haka down okay so we're gonna be starting to apply some pressure and uh, this is actually going to be some non-insignificant pressure here let's go ahead and get this oh oh look at this uh, let's go ahead and activate Whirlwind on you guys. Uh, that's gonna... Our Zealots are not gonna do well for it, but, you know, it's it's gonna be a little bit more damage than it would normally have gotten. And now with our Alarak in front, and... Oh dear, nope, never mind. We're gonna be fighting in turret range. We're just gonna lose all these dudes. Oh well. At least we'll get some damage done. I need some more... I need some more our Immortals. Now, do I want to spread these guys out? 
Because they have fire bats, the positioning is actually a pretty significant concern here. If they're too close together, then they're just going to get splashed down by the fire bats. But, you know, I don't think it's going to matter that much. Um, you know what? Let's, let's go ahead and do this. Make them into two groups with the guy in the middle. Nice. Go ahead and activate our, get our Nexus Simulator. Get the increased resource benefit. Uh, we're not going to be able to take their bunker, so as long as we aren't losing horribly, we should be all right here. Uh, you're covered in oil. That could be concerning. Uh, yeah, they're, they're just going to walk in and die. So now we have our mortals, which actually do pretty well versus fire bats because they... Uh, fire bats are armored, so if you notice, they just kind of just kind of die. Now, unfortunately, they also have medics. So if I get the... Alright, so I want to get this plus two range for my Dragoons. That way my Dragoons aren't in the way of the fire bat splash damage while the... Uh, mortals are dealing with the the front line. I think that'll that'll solve a lot of our problems. Unfortunately, we're still getting obliterated here by our Dehaka. What's going on? We ha our, so our Dehaka player does not have a front line that could stand up to their Dehaka player right now, and it's uh, it's gonna cause some problems. Let's go ahead and put the immortality device on you. Get another another dragoon here before this wave starts, and I want to get one ground weapon upgrade. Where should I get an armor? get a weapon upgrade and try to counteract their try to counteract a lot of their defenses they have a lot of defenses oh dear oh my uh, i'm gonna go ahead and activate my commander ability here and try to help out our photon cannon a little bit come on oh that's bad oh dear uh it's not a whole lot i could have done about that but we are just gonna get wrecked here they got a line of marauders they have no anti-air and they do have a banshee to go with it so i can i can deal with this in the form of one of these and a couple of these guys. Let's put them all the way up here. As Phoenix lift things into the sky. And they don't have any way of counteracting that. And if I get this upgrade, they'll lift two things at once. And that's good. That'll make them a bit more effective at getting rid of a lot of these ground units. That way they'll, they will remove, or at least uh, pacify a significant portion of their, of their lines while leaving me free to to just kind of take care of the ground. Look at that. Look at that poor hero unit getting sucked out of the, sucked out of the ground. I should have moved this back while I had an opportunity. Nope. Okay. Now, unfortunately, they can't lift hero units, so they, they're just going to kind of ignore these guys and start doing this, which is, you know, not great, but at least it's better than, better than nothing. I want one more of these. I've got an observer, and now I definitely need more immortals. I think Immortals, Immortals and High Archons are going to be a good choice here. High Archon, probably a better choice than Immortal at this point, but Immortals are cheaper. Now look at those Impalers, just doing their sunken colony thing all the way across, all the way across the field. Uh, they're going to die horribly. Let's see. I can save up for a High Archon right now. It's not going to do very well because it won't have any of its upgrades, it won't be able to use Storm, but it's a good start. Uh, let's see. No, all he'll have available to him is his feedback. Let's go ahead and do this, this, and this. I got two of them out. The third one didn't activate in time. Come on. Why are you not firing? Oh, you are firing. Okay. Go ahead. Take him out, please. Thank you. One at a time. Very good. So now we have a little bit more options here to tank for our... I'm going to move you over here, actually, just to get it a little bit closer to our Nexus. I, I did pull it back at uh, one, one grid space. Ooh. The Primal Hosts... If these are Creeper Hosts, I would expect them to deal a little bit more damage. But now our Phoenix are able to just kind of help deal with some of some of the issues. It looks like Dahaka has gotten some Hydralisks, which is going to be difficult for us to deal with. Okay, come on. I need another one of you guys. And also an Immortal. Can I get the Immortal in time? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, I can. Nice. Now, I do want to get an armor upgrade. I'm going to just set that to autocast. But you, move back while you can, please. Thank you. All right, now we have a little bit more to tank for our Nexus, and that should give us some significant benefit. And we still have living dudes. We're starting to stack some wave. Nice. And this will help out take out these guys. Now, with the uh, High Archons, they don't have Storm, but they do have feedback, which means they just wiped out most of their medics. They still have two left in the back. 
that's not going to be enough to really stop them from just getting punched by our mortals. And our mortals aren't even touched yet, so that's nice. Now, with their Phoenix here, they'll lift up some of these uh, Hydralists, which will stop a lot of the DPS, at least for at least slow it down a bit, which will give us an opportunity to try to wipe out a lot of the rest of the wave, which is what's actually going down here. And you see these Dragoons are just free to just sit there and deal 33 damage every 1.2 seconds, which is not insignificant at all. All right, let's go ahead and get another Immortal. I think next up we need to balance out our DPS. We're quite tanky, but we don't have a whole lot of DPS here. You've got some sustain, but that's really about it. Well, actually, sustain isn't the right word. Sustain implies we have some kind of regeneration. We don't. We just have tankiness. But I do want to activate a commander ability here, because we have a lot of small units on the front, and they gain bonus HPs for it, or rather, it's a lot higher multiplier, and it helped to stay in just long enough to take out their bunker, which is what we wanted. Nice. Go ahead and get some more of these guys with all of this new money that we have earned. We could end the... It stayed intact. Oh, it actually stayed intact long enough for us to uh, wipe out a lot of the other wave. Okay, so these phoenixes are actually... We could use a little bit more of them because they're not... Th we own the skies right now in terms of... Well, mostly. Mostly. Oh, Creeper hosts. He's finally gotten some explosive primal... Uh, well, hosts. Which is really good. That means we can... If you can stack those, that would just be disgusting. But I do want to get a couple more of these of these phoenixes to try to contest the air a little bit better. And for it, give them one air upgrade. Come on, there we go. And that should help out dealing with things like the battle cruiser and the banshees. If we can clear out the sky faster, then we'll be in a much better place. But I like how the uh, the, the hosts are really starting to stack the waves. Our Dehaka, uh, it's, it's really concerning because he has like no front line. But if he can manage to survive, which is a very bad assumption, but if he can manage to survive, then he can really start dealing some significant damage to, well, the waves during the during the times when he's not around. Alright, let's go ahead and get down another one of these. I think I just need a lot more Dragoons. Like, this Battle Cruiser is still alive. It should not be alive. Oh dear. It looks like he still has some medics surviving too, so I th maybe even one more High Archon. Uh, I do have a, a Guardian Shield available, but I'm going to save it for another High Archon next. Just so I can uh, have him survive long enough to get all the feedbacks off on all the things that are trying to heal up his units. That way his units stop, stop being alive. Alright, one more High Archon, please. And then the shield on you. Let's go ahead and crash into the line and blow him up. Oh, nope, nope. He just Yamato'd my High Archon. Please don't. Yes, please, take care of that. Now, no more heals coming out. What, what is healing that battle cruiser? Oh, dear. Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Alright, something is healing this battle cruiser. I need to know what it is. Oh, yeah, creeper host, come on. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, that was, that was disgusting. Yeah, that's good. Alright, now, these are not damaged. They've been fully healed. Alright, so... I want to read. I want to read the buff that it gets when it starts getting healed. All right, are you getting healed? Nope. 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 Come on. S it's something has an active ability that. Okay. Well, the creeper host just kind of blew it out of the sky, scourge style. So that'll that'll do nicely. Let's go ahead and get a couple more dragoons, and then work on our upgrades next. There we go. Let's see. Do you have all those guys? Do these? That guy needs a shield as well. And we're just going to be a, a, a like a tanky front line with a nice back line of power and destruction. There we go. And then get to tier three so we can unlock some of the better things. All oh, that feedback is just so good. All right, so I'm going to just sit on this guy. I need to know what heals it. Does it survive? It doesn't survive long enough to get healed. Maybe maybe it was the medic. So they have some kind of a mechanical heal ability. I guess modded for this. That would be intriguing. I never seen that before but and then again I don't play co-op or really much of the campaign so I wouldn't know some of the special abilities on these things yeah those creeper hosts are really really disgusting when stacked so basically the creeper hosts are like swarm hosts only they spawn uh, banelings instead of oh they spawn flying banelings instead of uh, locusts which means they can just just kind of wipe out entire wave after wave after wave just because they exist which is uh, it's pretty good not, not gonna lie and now we're just like, look at this, the creepers come in and just blow everything up. And now they have a lot less things, a lot less things to use, which is 
good for us, not so good for them. And we're pushing all the way to the command center. It's all the way down to, to 50% and about to be less than that. Oh, come on, come on. Just like one more shot. Yes, and we got it. Good game. All right, guys, if you want to see more episodes just like that, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And for now, I'll see you guys on the next hero. Later.